Hi folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here again, and I'm a little excited this morning, it's Christmas morning, and I've just opened a present for my lovely wife Anne, and I've received a Garmin dash cam, it's on my uh, wish list for an RV type related gadget. This is the Garmin dash cam 20, um, has a little uh, 2.3 inch display on it, fully HD, 1080p. Um, it also has uh, incident detecting, so if you get into an accident, it has a little uh, G-force sensor in it, and it'll automatically uh, start recording before and after and save that recording for you. Um, it also has a GPS in it, so uh, it can uh, give you uh, longitude and latitude positioning, stuff like that, so when you look at the video later, you can um, see it on a map. It's really cool. So anyway, this is the box it came in. I'm just going to pull it apart and let you see what's, what's inside. Okay, so opened her up. And we've got, of course, an instruction manual. Um, here's the heart of the thing. A little camera. It's a nice size. It's only a few inches square. It's got a little bit of heft to it. And that's the mounting point there. Okay, let's see what else. Um, USB cable to connect to a computer, and here's plugs. This plugs into your cigarette lighter. Enough nice long cord to get up to the window, and we have a mount for it. This looks like somewhere we permanently mount it. This is what I really like: this little suction cup device to mount it to your windshield. It looks like it's got a little lever on it, so it uh, really sticks well. You can move it around, take it off easily. And my really uh, smart wife got me a 32 gigabyte memory card. It comes with a 4, but uh, it can take up to a 32, so you can have a nice long recording. Okay, so let's mount her up in here and turn her on see what she looks like. So, there's my cigarette lighter down there, 12 volt socket, lots of cord, it could go anywhere on the windshield. And here we are, all mounted in place. Okay, let's see, turn her on. There we go. Cool. So it records right away when it uh, senses power. I guess when you undo, unplug the power, it stops. And it also has a built-in battery. Um, I think the red that'll take about an hour worth on the battery, so you can pull it off and and use it to, uh, you know, take pictures. It has a little three megapixel camera. So say you were in an accident, you pop it off, and right away you'd have a camera to to record the the pictures. It's pretty cool. I love this mounting thing. That's on there solid. So it's got a little clamp mount. Clamp her on, bang! And you can spin it around quite easily. Tilt it up or down. Right on. So I'm going to read up all about it and uh, learn everything about it. Then we're uh, heading out um, in a few days. We're going to take a trip from this Palm Springs area where we're at now all the way down to Yuma. So um, I'm going to have the, the my new dash cam all running. So we'll uh, give you a look at some of the footage it puts out and also some of the software that comes with it. There, i got to give my wife a kiss. This is pretty cool.
cool. Well, that's a fun little gadget. I just disconnected it from the truck and uh, just giving it a test as a handheld. It's so you can, uh, if you have an accident or something, you can pull it out of the vehicle and take a photo. Let me try taking a snapshot here. It doesn't have the greatest camera, but probably does the job. Just at uh, our boondocking spot. I've uh, increased the exposure a little bit on the picture. There's some settings there. I found the footage I got on that trip seemed uh, a bit on the dark side to me. It was sharp and everything, but it was a little bit dark. Well, I'm really liking my new toy. <laughs> I think it's going to be actually a good addition to uh, the YouTube channel. I'm going to be able to uh, show the roads in and out of some of our favorite boondocking spots and camp spots as we go. It'll kind of add to the, the footage. Um, also, I think it'll be a good thing to capture wildlife. You know, you can uh, leave it running. And if any uh, coyotes come around or any birds and stuff, it'll pick it up. Also, I think it's going to be uh, useful as a security camera because it runs on 12 volts. And in the RV, I have lots of 12 volt uh, circuits, so I can maybe wire in a circuit in a hidden place. And when we leave the RV, I can uh, leave it running and see if anybody's out uh, scoping out our RV or anything like that. Um, I'm thinking maybe I can do some time lapse with it too, so uh, I can speed up the drive. So we go through a nice mountain drive or something, I can show footage of that. And it also, I haven't really played around with it too much, but it has a built-in GPS, so it, it gives the exact coordinates when when something happens. Um, also, lots of times on when I'm driving on freeways or highways, you see something really cool, but you're going so fast by the time you get your camera out you're, you're not going to capture it but this thing's always running and with its uh, g-force event detector um, see something cool on the road you can just give it a tap like that and it thinks you've, you've had an accident or something so it automatically will write the the file previous file and the next file to uh, protected memory because the, the thing overwrites as it goes, but if, if you put it into protected memory, then it uh, it won't overwrite that portion. So, yeah, I look forward to uh, playing around with it some more. There's uh, I noticed there's some extra software you can get. There's some private software, not to do with Garmin. Hopefully I can get some of that software. It looks pretty cool as far as the mapping feature goes. With the GPS, you can, uh, you can uh, bring up a map on your computer and then and then uh, zoom in on all the different points where the recordings were made. So until next time, this is uh, a happy Ray out boondocking in the desert. Thanks for watching. Cheers.